Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be building something that I've been waiting to build well pretty much ever since I started this channel and ever since we started redecorating our apartment in real life I just got really inspired and obviously when you live in an apartment you can't change everything about the place you're living like even here we can't even like paint walls or do anything like that so yeah I just got inspired to like go crazy and change everything but also kind of challenge myself in keeping the same floor plan and keeping the like window and door placement the same like I wasn't allowed to add any more windows so you'll see when we get to it but like for example we only have windows on one wall the other three walls have no windows so if it were up to me, yeah, I'd want an apartment that has windows on more than one side just for lighting reasons throughout the day and also for my plants. Yeah, because my plants, a lot of them are under grow lights right now because there's only like right in front of the window and it's currently winter so I don't really want my plants on the windowsill where it's cold and my desk, which I can't, I have two plants on my desk, I can't fit any more than that or it's gonna be impossible to work there. So yeah, they're on a shelf, like a bookshelf under row lights right now, which is fine, but yeah, so this originally, I, I had this idea of, yeah, let's do our apartment and then let's do like this little cafe below it um, that's kind of like a, I don't know if there's a word for this, I've definitely seen someone build something like this before and I think they had a word for it, but it's kind of like a reading cafe or a book cafe where you can go and it's almost like half library, half coffee shop, um, just because I love books and I feel like books are a decently big part of my life, like when I was younger I used to try and write books as well, so... I just thought that would be kind of fun and cozy and then this turned into a ginormous build. Oh my gosh, like I initially wanted those two things, maybe like a laundry or mail room attached and then like maybe one other apartment. I think I did have a second apartment planned but then when I realized that I couldn't add windows the way I wanted to to the front of the build and when you're building the sims it's not like in real life like you have to make it look pretty at least on the front because the sides like you can see I kind of just threw windows around there's not a lot else going on the back is like windowless on the top I think but yeah I realized I wanted it to look nice so I was like well then I guess I have to add another apartment in front of my apartment which then extended the entire build backwards and I had to add another apartment on the ground floor so now we have four apartments a cafe and then the laundry and mail room like it's a big build so I've decided instead of making a very very long um, voiceover because I feel like I'm not to the point of doing that yet I would split this into two separate videos so what you guys are getting today is the cafe and then the renovation of my apartment redecoration renovation I don't really know um, what is the proper term because I did change the floors the wallpapers like all that stuff is changed and different the windows are different I did allow myself to use different windows so I use the ones from Hey Harry's Coastal Collection because I like how they open like that. I like how they open like that. It adds a little bit something different and I believe all the doors are also yeah I think they're also from the Coastal Collection. So this apartment is in Windenburg. It's kind of in the downtown section where all the nightclubs and coffee shops are. I figured this would be kind of a cool place to build it instead of Samashuno because Samashuno like it's very much a very specific vibe I feel like it's very modern and this build is not very modern I definitely would like to build some kind of a modern looking apartment complex I also want to build a very like New York style one I'm currently waiting for Felix to finish his Soho set so that I can do that because 
yeah, that's, that's really cool and definitely a style that I really like, which is kind of that more industrial look, which you'll see when you get, um, when we get to that portion of the video, but the apartment is a little bit industrial looking. I feel like it was a bit of a struggle to pick between that and more of a boho look. I think I... Well, downstairs is a little bit that, I guess, in this cafe, as you're gonna see. So yeah, this cafe, um, I did add a kitchen to it because I imagine that they also make baked goods and maybe like lunch items, maybe breakfast items, I don't know, but I did add two counters. It does function, like the barista will just pick one to work at. Um, I just liked the look of having two and this kind of section here that's open the, like the public can see it but it just gives a nice cozy little look I really like how this turned out I like how light and airy it is and I added these really like comfy couches they're meant to be chairs but they are couches as you'll see they're from Perry Sims David's apartment set these are my favorite couches of all time I think I use them a lot they just look so incredibly comfortable like if I had, like, we are going to be making a couch in real life eventually, but I would love a couch to look something like this, I think. Like, it's just so comfy, and the colors that he gave us for these couches are beautiful. Like, I honestly think it's my favorite one between this and, like, Slouch from Charlie Pancakes, because that couch is really unique to any of the other ones, and it also looks ridiculously comfortable. Yeah, one of those two couches. I'm sorry you guys, I just caught myself in the TV reflection. I'm like wearing a hat sideways because the sun is coming in right now and I don't want to get a migraine from it so I'm trying to like shield my eyes from the side and it just looks a little bit ridiculous but I'm just gonna try not to look and make myself laugh at it. Um, so yeah, there's tons and tons of books in here. It took me a long time to place them because these bookshelves are from Hey Harry and they have slots, but the slots are a little bit weird. Like I couldn't place the books exactly how I wanted, so I had to use this red shelf a ton to make it so that it didn't look like a little bit crazy. So it took me a long time to put all these bookshelves I do love the bookshelves though. They are really, really pretty. That whole set, honestly, is one of my favorites and I actually think my next build on my other channel, yes, the next build coming out on my other channel is a build that I used or that I made when that set completed. So it uses pretty much everything from the Coastal Collection set and it is really yeah, it's such a pretty set. It's such a big set. I really do love it and I used it a lot. In this build, we also used some organic here as well with the tables and I'm not sure. I think the columns as well are organic. Yeah, I just, oh, I love CC, you guys. I feel like I have to say it in every single video, but it is true. Yeah, so we're still cluttering bookshelves. Maybe while we do that, I can talk a little bit more about this build in general. So I have this idea for all of the apartments to be very different from each other. So while like my apartment is a little bit industrial, I do intend to make a more industrial looking apartment next to it. I want to have one that is very colorful and like maybe a younger Sim lives there. And then I'm not sure about the fourth apartment yet. I'm sure I'll figure it out um, in the next couple weeks when I finish this build because as of now, this build is in fact not finished. Just what you see today is all that's done. And I'm currently working on some other builds, but I'm hoping by the end of February, the, the rest of this build will be out. And of course I will upload the like what's done so far it's just not a finished build so if you guys like some of the apartments or the cafe you can definitely plan it now and that will be as always on the gallery and tray files on my patreon with the cc list there so if you need 
to find any of that stuff. It's all on my Patreon at Lindsay Builds. So yeah, this is just the kitchen. The only thing about this kitchen that could be potentially problematic is if your Sims, like if you ask them to cook something, they might come down here and try to use the counters or like, you know, the fridge or whatever. Probably not the fridge, but you know what I mean? I don't know if they will. It's kind of far. But if they do, you can always just delete the door if you are living on this lot. So this is the apartment. So this apartment is tiny. It's definitely not made for more than two people. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom. And the kitchen's closed off, which I kind of hate. Like, I wish it wasn't because it's already a small enough space. I think it would look better being open. But as I said, I kept it true to life. And yeah, it's the same floor plan. Um... And basically the same layout. The only thing that's different is the table is moved, which I don't know if we'll ever end up doing that just because in The Sims there's a little bit more space in here than in real life because it's really hard to get scale proper, like to get the scale properly in this game compared to real life. So it is a little bit um, bigger than it is in real life for sure. So yeah, um, I used a ton of is it Ciboule? Ciboulet? I'm not, I'm probably butchering that. I think it's a French name. I'm not 100% sure, but I use a ton of her CC in this build. There's a set I've been wanting to use for a while by her. I think it's just called Contemporary Haven, which is what I just use the couches and the, t and the like TV stand, the coffee tables, the artwork, some of the artwork. I think it's a really cool set and it definitely inspired this apartment so the other thing I think that inspired this is Harry's clean wallpapers because they're so pretty and I love exposed brick like if I can have that in real life I think my life would be complete like it's just so pretty and I think it allows you to have a really interesting like living space so yeah this is kind of the office area so both me and my boyfriend work from home so we both have desks and obviously that's interesting when you have a small living space his desk is in the main area my desk is in the bedroom and i did keep it that way even in the game um oh that's something else actually that i think i convinced him to also renovate an apartment for the channel it's probably not going to be this specific one but I think that would be really fun to see him try and decorate an apartment because he's never played The Sims before and I kind of want to just sit down with him and teach him my ways, you know? So that might be something coming to the channel as well, maybe in March. <laughs> we'll see if I can convince him. But yeah, as you can see, there's tons of plants and books. That's definitely a me thing. I, I like we definitely want to have a lot of plants and stuff in the apartment as is but yeah that this is definitely like my vision of the apartment I don't know if this is how he would want it decorated or not but I guess we'll find out when he does his own build because then I'll know exactly what his like style is but yeah I really I'm so happy with this and I wish that I could at least paint the walls or something because or change the ceiling like we have a popcorn ceiling and it is so ugly like I hate popcorn ceilings I hate the shadow that they give off when light hits it like it's just not it doesn't look good <laughs> like one day I hope we can live somewhere that doesn't have popcorn ceilings um so this is the kitchen the kitchen is tiny um we have like this little pantry that we bought so I kind of use these open shelvings. It's not an open shelf in real life because the dust would be too much to handle. I don't want to dust any more surfaces so yeah it's a closed pantry but in The Sims I thought this looked kind of cool and made the space seem a little bit bigger so I've changed the counters like literally everything is different than it is in real life. Um, we have like these very oak colored like cabinets with like kind of a fake it's not even like marble I don't know what you would call that it, I hate the counters in here as well they're not the best looking but 
it's an older apartment so it makes sense um we're trying our best to kind of buy furniture that's a little bit more interesting and cohesive I guess and just spruce this place up because we've not really decorated it up to this point and yeah it's been a while and it would be nice to make it feel a little bit more like home I think so yeah this is definitely a nice kitchen and I love those are um I believe those are brownstone the kitchen counters I really like them they always look super sleek oh and we're already onto the bathroom so the bathroom is a full bathroom it doesn't have a walk-in shower it has like a shower tub combo which is fine for the small bathroom that it is but I did add a separate tub because Kohl's <laughs> is to have a tub like a really nice tub because I love my baths and yeah I just would love to have that and I don't remember which tub I used there's a lot of CC tubs in this game that I'm really obsessed with because I think they look really interesting. Oh, I don't even know what that one is. Is that like a Perry Sim tub? Is that the Brutalist tub from Hey Harry? I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> but I added this like cool concrete, like I don't really know what to call it, like wall, I guess, to kind of make the sink area look a little bit interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. This whole build just kind of was interesting to me in general, like not what I expected it to be. So I had a lot of fun with it. So this is the bedroom. I added these pieces from Pierre Sims uh, combos set to kind of separate the desk area from these fake book bookshelves, which are also from that set. Um, so this bedroom is again a little a little bit bigger than in real life but I really really like the vibes in here like the color scheme is one of my favorites I think it always looks really good in the sims this kind of like like almost orangey reddish brown with black I think always looks really great so I made this fake desk here because I just wanted a floating desk look to go between those two like wall pieces um, yeah, so we're also going to be coming to the end of this build here, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching to this point. If you want to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon in the description below, and you can also find the tray files and all the CC there. My build will also be on the gallery at Lindsay Builds. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the watching this video. See you guys next week. Bye!